Hey, what's up guys? I've got something little I want to show you. But it's not so little. It's in the boot of my Holden Commodore here. And uh, it takes up a lot of the boot. So I just wanted to show you guys this. And you'll see. You'll see in a moment. Check this out. You see that? That anvil is pretty much the depth of my boot. And it's almost as wide as a big anvil. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using this anvil here for um, oh, all sorts, you know, blacksmithing, knife making, sword making. Yeah. The length from the tip of the horn to the, uh, the other end of the anvil is nearly one meter. Cool, eh? This anvil here, a friend of mine's coming over. He's bringing an engine lift over because we can't lift it out of the boot um, without possibly breaking stuff. You know, this plastic trim here, it's not so good. Uh, so this anvil here, it's um, it weighs 378 pounds, mm. 171 kilos. Not bad, eh? So yeah, it's my anvil. Okay guys, well here's a bit of a bit more of a close-up view of my anvil. There's Wilkinson's, uh, Queen's Dudley, mm, some other letters, some other wording down there. Really hard to make out. Um, yeah, so this anvil, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit, got a few little bit of damage, but that's what you sort of expect for something that's oh, possibly up to a hundred and a hundred and sixty years old actually. Um, I've sort of been led to believe and told that this anvil uh, comes from the, t the dates of around the 1860s, somewhere around there. So, and I, as you can see here, I've got my uh, my Kelly X. Yeah, so this is to give you a bit of an idea of how big or how long this anvil is. You know, you can see that there, full length X. You know, and it's not even as long as the anvil. So that's my. Um, that's the anvil there. So yeah, like I say, it's dated from around the 1860s, 18, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, so this is highly likely to come out to New Zealand on a sailing ship. This big old thing, you know. She's a real piece of history, this. And you can see here, it's got a one inch hardy hole. About a five eighths an inch uh, petrol hole. Um, the surface is actually pretty good. There's a couple of marks you can see just there, but it's not bad um, considering its age. The horn's in really good nick still. Yeah, so you know, like you can see, there's definite damage on this side, but you know, I can live with that. I can get it fixed, but the likelihood is I won't. I'm going to stick with. Uh, stick with it being original and as you can see here the height of the anvil I measured it just before is 15 inches from top to bottom uh, the length is just over three feet so yeah it's pretty pretty long it's got a good length to it um, you can sort of see there's a slight slight bow in it not much though for its age but um, yeah, so I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Um, I picked this up from a guy down south of Hamilton here in New Zealand. Um, so he sort of couldn't use it anymore, couldn't do blacksmithing anymore, so sold it off and I got it. Okay guys, I've just spun the anvil around. Uh, so we can have a good look at this sign here. Some pretty good shape, eh? Look at this edge here. This edge here is pretty good still. You know, very usable still. She's in good nick still. Um, yeah, so you can see, still in good nick. 
I just wanted to bring it here to show you the weights. You got the old hundred weight system here. And you can see just there. See the three? You just make it out. Center of screen. Just make it out, eh? Okay. We said to change the battery. Anyway, you can just make out a three here. It's really hard to tell, but you can see that there's a three. See, there was a center of screen. Then you had a one. Right there, center of screen again. And then you come onto the scene, you can just see a 14 here. So that's the 100 weight system. So 3, 1, and 14. The 3, you can see it quite clearly there, 3. Um, that is, well, on the 100 weight system, that's 112 pounds per 1. So that's 3 times 112 pounds plus a quarter of that. So that's plus 28 pounds. And then that there, the 14 is straight pounds. So that's 14 pounds. So, so all up, that weight is 3 times 112 pounds, which is 336, plus the 28 pounds, plus the 14 pounds gives us 378 pounds. And if you convert that to metric, it's 171 kilos. That's right, guys, 171 kilos or 378 pounds. So this anvil is huge. Yeah guys, so this anvil's probably, well it is definitely a little bit bigger than what I really need, but hey, big is better, isn't it? When it comes to uh, being able to beat steel, you know, when you start looking at this, when I'm starting to forge steel and forge stuff on this thing here, it's going to be really good because of the size of it, the weight of it, means it can absorb a lot of shock, which is uh, what is really needed, eh? Yeah, so that's my anvil, guys. Okay, guys, now for the all-important uh, ring test. I know everyone likes to see or hear the anvil ring. Unfortunately, the only one I've got at hand is this little baby here. It's only a little four-ounce hammer, but anyway. Okay, but anyway. You can hear it. Hear it ringing. Fair old bounce there. Okay guys, I know you're gonna to wanna to see the drop test with the steel ball bearing. And here's the steel ball bearing. This is probably a one inch steel ball bearing here. And we'll see how it goes, eh? Okay, okay guys. Here we are, we'll try the drop test again from about, what's that? 18 inches above the anvil. Whoa. And it almost returns up to my hand. You can see that that's a pretty good job test. Look at that. It's pretty responsive. So you can see that that ball works really well. Just to give a little history lesson on this. Yeah guys, so just sort of going off the fact that it's of its age and where it sort of, I got it from and that sort of thing. It's quite possible that this anvil did get used, or was used, or I'll, I'll just say it's possible that it was used, eh? Let's just say it was possible that it was used in the New Zealand War era. You know, she's a beast. Okay guys, this knife here is a replica knife made by Sword here in New Zealand. Um, and it's a replica of the Von Temsky Bowie that was made for Von Temsky's men back in the 1860s uh, they were the forest rangers here and they fought in the New Zealand wars so this knife is a replica knife from that time so as you can see here this knife here was forged in the 1860s as you can see here the real knives the genuine knives like this would have been forged in the 1860s on anvils like this one here because this, knife, this anvil here um, dates back to the 1860s, somewhere around there. So here's an example of what was possibly forged on an anvil like this. And this, this anvil came from an area where some of the forest rangers were active. So it's quite possible that this anvil was used with the real deal knives to um, 
repair them, to fix them, to change them. Because the soldiers did change them up to however they wanted to change them. So, so yeah, so this knife here uh, is a good example actually. Of, uh, it's a real piece of New Zealand history. And they're made by Sword Knives here in Waiuku in New Zealand, which is in South Auckland. Right on. So there you go, folks. There's a nice piece of history to show you this knife here. Yeah. Right on. Okay, guys. So that's my anvil. Um, I'm going to be using it for a lot of good stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be making knives. May even make one very similar to this, like a Von Tensky. Um, I'll say similar because Sword makes these, so similar. Um, okay, okay, guys. So I may also try and forge um, axes as well. Probably not big axes like this, more like Viking type ones, or maybe throwing ones, or or um, ones that I can use for some form of carving, but definitely want to do something like that. Um, a friend of mine wants to try and forge some, um, you know, like small swords. Obviously a little bit bigger than this, but not too much bigger, like gladiuses. And of course maybe even get into the odd long sword. So that's where I'm heading. Okay guys, and this is my anvil. It took me ages to try and find this bugger. And it's a beast. A 378 pound beast. Okay. right on, guys. So thanks for watching. And... Uh, in the near future, we'll have some more videos of some forging and that sort of thing. Yeah, so, okay guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.